guys, in today's video, we'll cover a very unique strategy to deal with Spiral Abyss Floor 12, Chamber 2, Second Half. Like, comment, subscribe. Before we begin, I'd just like to remind you guys that I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday, 6pm Singapore time. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. With that, let's jump right into the star player of today's episode, which is Jin. So personally, my Jin is at C0, but this uh, build over here is using my sister's build. So her Jin is at C1. So the difference between a C0 Jin and a C1 Jin is that the C1 Jin is able to pull enemies faster with her E, and this actually impacts the strategy quite a lot. However, the strategy is still viable with a C0 Jin, just that it will be a little bit slower. So to support Jin, the character that I use is Sucrose because with sacrificial uh, sacrificial fragments, you, you actually get 3 charges of her E which is a very useful crowd control skill to be used when Jin's E is on cooldown. This is very important because when the mages are not crowd controlled properly, they will protect themselves with a shield and this makes it impossible for the strategy to work. So this strategy involves constantly crowd controlling the mages such that they cannot use any of their skills that gives them a shield or resistance to crowd control. So throughout this strategy, what you want to do is to constantly swap between Jin's E and Sucrose E timing it uh, carefully such that the mages don't have any time to use their skills and they will always be lying on the floor. If done right, this strategy is actually quite an uh, easy one to do because there is not much uh, actual combat involved in terms of energy funneling, using bursts, etc. There's no like um, main DPS support role in this team. We are just exploiting the fall damage mechanics to kill these mages. Alright, and one final note, so this video I didn't do an actual full clear because it will be too time consuming and I actually have already done a full clear video, I'll link you guys to it. And yeah, that's about it. So with that out of the way, I think we are ready to jump straight into the combat. In this first clip here, we have Jin and Sucrose as the main combat body. So what you want to do first is to charge the mage and then use Jin's E, followed by Sucrose E, and then back to Jin's E. So it's a constant cycle where the mage cannot get out of the crop control in order to use her shield and crop control resistance skills. Once the mage is at low HP, uh, we can just switch over to the other units that can deal damage faster in order to kill her. So I'll just fast forward that part. Right now we come to the Mirror Maiden. So the Mirror Maiden is actually heavier, so she takes longer to uh, pull with Jin's E, but uh, when she flies up, she takes actually about twice the amount of fall damage, slightly less than that. It's about 120k around there. We'll just do a comparison again, so about 60k on average on the Ice one. And just now we saw 120-130k uh, on the Mirror Maiden. Alright, so we'll jump straight into the next clip where I'll show you guys uh, instances where the mages will not take fall damage. So the first instance is um, when you actually do it a little bit too early. So when you... Um, you need to actually give the mage about 4 to 5 seconds before you start us. Uh, pulling her in at the start. The second instance is when we have shoved the mages against the wall. So when you shove the mages against the wall, half the time the mage will take 100% of the max damage, but half the time the mage will not take any damage at all whatsoever. So for the purpose of this strategy, I will recommend that we do not uh, shove the mage against the wall, instead we shove her away from the wall because they, you are guaranteed to get some form of damage that way. Alright, and for the rest of this video, it's just me showing you guys uh, the power of a C1 Jin. So this is actually my sister's account. So I borrowed her account to show you guys how 
a C1 gene actually sucks the enemies faster than a C0 gene and also this would translate to more damage in some circumstances so I consistently get about 5 to 10k higher than my C0 gene okay so let's just wrap up with three general things to note so number one we have to constantly keep the majors off their feet using both sucrose and gin and number two we have to keep the majors far from the the walls because the damage won't be consistent against the walls and lastly don't forget that we have other members in the team as well so those members of the team such as your main dps character can actually come out and help you to clear those uh, small little guys as they are more efficient in clearing them Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, relatively short but informative uh, video So I hope this video actually helps you guys to clear the Floor 12 Chamber 2 second half with all these uh, Mirror Maidens and Sissin Majors And yeah, like I said in the intro, I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday 6pm uh, Singapore time and I would appreciate if you guys drop me a like and a subscribe to let me know that you guys appreciate my content with that I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching